Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are a Christian and if you love Jesus, this message is directly for you. So this word that the Lord put in my heart is meant to comfort and encourage the body of Christ. It's for those who are feeling hopeless and those who are feeling discouraged. So last night, I was spending some time with the Lord and the Lord actually had me turn to the book of Esther. And when the Lord had me turn to the book of Esther, I was a bit confused. I was like, God, why do you want me to read Esther? But the reason he wanted me to read Esther is because he wanted to show me prophetically exactly what he is doing in the body of Christ within this next season. So as I was reading the book of Esther, the Lord spoke to me and he said, many people are losing hope. Many people are losing faith. And I want my people to know that I see them. See, the Holy Spirit wants us to know that although we are in a world right now where there's so much chaos, there's so many things going on with this pandemic and a lot of uncertainty, the Holy Spirit wants us to know that He sees us and that He is there for us. And then what the Lord was revealing to me is that the people of God in this next season are going to have divine favor. See, as children of God, you guys need to understand that we are blessed. We are blessed and we are favored by the Most High God. And it is an honor to be a child of God. And because we are children of God, because we serve the King of Kings, we serve the Lord of Lords, no matter what situation that we are in, we know God is going to see us through. So I want to open the book of Esther and I want to speak prophetically about what I believe God is doing in the body of Christ within this next season. So if you turn to Esther chapter 2 verse 10, it says, Esther did not make known her people or her kindred, for Mordecai had instructed her, that she should not make them know. So the context of this is now Esther is in the king's palace, right? And as she's in the king's palace, she has to hide her identity. She hasn't made known that she's a Jew. Because mind you, Esther, she's someone who's a Jew among Gentiles. And when you read this passage, what stands out to me is that Esther had to take a step of faith so that the blessing of the Lord was able to come to her people. So many times what God would do in our lives is he's going to make us take a step of faith, not just not necessarily just for us, but for others so that through our obedience, through our faith, God can actually reach others. And when I think about my life, I think about how God has placed us in certain circumstances in order to increase our faith. So think about a time, right, where you are placed in a circumstance. And when you came out of that trial, when you came out of that circumstance, it actually increased your faith and i believe that in this next season that there's going to be trials there's going to be tribulations there's going to be things that the enemy is going to throw at the body of christ but i believe that the lord is going to allow certain things to happen because it's actually going to increase our faith but not only is it going to increase our faith but it's going to increase the faith of those who are around us esther chapter 2 verse 15 and esther found favor in the eyes of all who saw her and i love read this passage because when you think about it esther was someone who was a Jew among Gentiles. So she was the outcast. She didn't necessarily fit in. She was set apart unto the Lord. And I love how when we are set apart unto the Lord, when we are dedicated, when we are devoted to the Lord, although we don't fit in with society. And that's one thing I want to talk about too. We as Christians are not meant to fit in. We are meant to actually stand out because if we look like the world, we can't win the world. You can't win the world by looking by the world. So by us standing out and by us choosing to be children of God, we're actually going to have such a favor that's going to come upon our life in this next season that when, where we walk, people are going to see Jesus. When we talk to people, they're not going to see us. They're going to see Jesus. And I believe that the Lord is bringing divine favor to his people because in that place of divine favor, we're going to see the glory of God released, not just in our lives, but in the lives of others. So as children of God, obedience comes with favor. I want to give a scripture about this in Psalm chapter 115, verse 13. And it says, he will bless those who fear the Lord both small and great. So we don't fear the Lord so that we can get things, but the Lord has put in his word that when we do fear him, there is a blessing that comes upon him. And I believe that in this next season, God is gonna give the body of Christ a greater level of obedience and a greater level of faith. And with that greater level of obedience is going to come the blessing of the Lord that he's gonna pour upon his children. So going back to the scripture that we read in Esther chapter two, where Esther found favor in the eyes of all who saw her, Esther was someone who carried the presence of God. She was someone who had a relationship with God. She had a life laid down, a life surrendered unto God. And because of that, God put her in places that she never thought that she would be. And I believe in this next season that we're going to see in the body of Christ, people, Christians, especially children of God, people who have that relationship with Jesus are going to be put in places they never thought. They're going to be given platforms that they never even thought that they would have. They're going to be given divine favor in situations. And God is going to reward his people for their obedience because we have chosen to set ourselves apart unto the Lord and not to be a part of this world. When you look in the Bible, some of the people that God used were people that were not, they weren't necessarily special people. They 
weren't the most intelligent people they weren't the most wisest people they weren't even necessarily sometimes people who are even favored in society but when we look at Esther she was a woman who was a Hebrew she had no parents because her parents had died when she was younger but God still used her and I believe in this next season that God is gonna raise up those who are humble God is gonna raise up those who are after his heart you know one thing the Lord put on my heart recently was he said he wants his people to know and I'm gonna share this with you guys because he told me this but I know that he wants me to share with you guys he said I want you to chase my presence and not a platform because when we trace his presence then everything else is gonna be added unto us because the Lord is that good so here again we see Esther having favor upon all the other women because she had devoted herself unto God and she obtained grace and favor in the sight of more than all the virgins so he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Your obedience can cause the favor of the Lord to rest on your family. So when we are obedient to God, not only does he reward us for being obedient to him, but he also causes favor to rest upon our family. Esther chapter 6 verses 1 through 3. During that night, the king could not sleep, so he gave an order to bring the book of records, the Chronicles, and they were read before the king. It was found written that Mordecai had reported concerning Bigathena and Teres, two of the king's eunuchs who were doorkeepers, that they had sought to lay hands on King Assyrus. So before this happened, before the king read this, to give you guys some context behind it, is that Mordecai found out about a plot that was happening against the king, and he went and reported it. And now a chapter, a couple of chapters later, we see that the king actually is reading through the chronicles. He's reading through the memories of what happened. And he sees that, oh, Mordecai was someone who saved my life. So then watch this. The king said, what honor or dignity has been bestowed on Mordecai for this? Then the king's servants who attended him said, nothing has been done for him. So when we do things for the Lord, God remembers that. And out of that place, he causes favor to come upon our lives. I also believe that God is going to reveal certain things to the body of Christ in this next season before they even happen. So when we see Mordecai, right, he had it revealed to him that there was a, a plot against the king, right, before it even happened. And I believe that prophetically speaking, that in the body of Christ, in this next season, that God is gonna begin to actually show his people in dreams and visions, and he's gonna show us the things to come so that we can be prepared, so that we can be prayed up, and so that we can be aware of the tactics of the enemy. Then it says in Esther, Esther chapter six, verse 10, then the king said to Haman, take quickly the robes and the horses, as you have said, and do so for Mordecai the Jew who is sitting at the king's gate. Do not fall short in anything of all that you have said. So because Mordecai was obedient to the Lord, because Mordecai was a man of God who served the Lord, the Lord remembered how faithful he had been unto him. And because of that, he ended up bringing favor on Mordecai in a situation where Mordecai probably felt that he shouldn't have been favored him. Because of that, God blessed Mordecai for his obedience. See, God blesses his people, not just for us to only be blessed, but God blesses us to be a blessing to others. So I want you guys to be encouraged by this word that there's going to be divine favor that is gonna rest upon the children of God in this next season. And it's important that in this next season, we continue to have faith because the devil, he's gonna try us. He's gonna to try to test us. But the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testament, and they did not love their lives unto death. So we will be okay. We will overcome if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Now, does that mean every single thing in this next season is gonna be perfect? No, there's going to be trials. There's gonna be tribulations. God's gonna put us through certain things. But although God's gonna allow us to go through certain things, he's going to be there with us in the fire. He's gonna be there with us. So be excited, be hopeful. We have a hope and that hope is in Jesus. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it brought confirmation to some of you who are feeling discouraged or hopeless. And I really pray that this video was a blessing to you. So also, as always, if you have a prayer request, make sure to leave that down below in the comment section. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram because I am gonna start uploading more on that platform. And that's all guys, till the next video, be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys, be blessed.